Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome to the first episode of PHTV in this second semester. I'm Jimmy Allen. And I'm Corey Romig. Can't believe it's already the second semester. This year has gone by way too fast. Yes, it has. And seniors have less than 18 weeks left. But that reminds me, I hope you all seniors turned in your senior pictures. Any pictures turned in at this point will be charged a $35 late fee. You can turn your senior pictures into Mr. Rhodes or email them to phshyearbook at gmail.com. Barnes & Noble Bookstar is starting my favorite teacher contest for 2017. All I have to do is submit a letter, essay, or poem about a teacher that has made a positive impact on your life. This is, wonderful. this is a wonderful opportunity to celebrate teachers in our community for their hard work and dedication. A panel will review submissions and choose a lo local winner for whom they will celebrate in their store on a special evening. Then winners get submitted into a regional contest where if they win, get prompted or promoted sorry, to the national contest. The national winner will receive $5,000 from Barnes & Noble and get $5,000 for their school. Are you looking for an antidote to the sweetness of Valentine's Day? How about a super creepy, creepy graphic novel? The PHS book club will be discussing the Oregon Reader's Choice nominated graphic novel Through the Woods on Wednesday, February 15th at 3.30 in the library conference room. The book tells five fairy tales gone very wrong through words and illustrations. If you would like to join them, check out a copy of the book from the library and be ready to share your thoughts. There are no right or wrong answers, just a group of people getting together talking about great books. Speaking of Valentine's Day, DECA will be having a candy raffle. DECA Club Candy Raffle. Guess how much candy is in the jar? Only 25 cents a guess. Winner will be announced February 16th. Come support our DECA club. It is that time of year that ScienceWorks Hands-On Museum is now accepting applications for their 2017 ScienceWorks Summer Internship Program. If you are interested, the application deadline is on Friday, April 28th. This is a 50-hour internship for students ages 14 to 18 years old, designed to teach students to apply in an interview for a job, to teach management strategies and responsibility while working, while working with our 5 through K through 5th grade summer campers and with our visitors. To learn more about this great opportunity, you could talk to Mrs. House in the Futures, Future Planning Center. The Future Planning Center will be offering after-school scholarships, workshops, every Wednesday in February to help s seniors complete important applications like the OSAC scholarship, RCC Foundation, and more. There will also be snacks. For anyone taking the SATs, the SOU RCC Higher Education Center in downtown Medford is holding SATs and ACT prep classes. This will be eight sessions Mondays and Wednesdays from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. starting February 13th through February March. Or March 8th. If you would like to sign up for these classes, talk to Mrs. House. Oh, I, I messed up. If you would like to sign up for these classes, talk to Mrs. House in the Future Planner Center. Phoenix High School speech and debate team competed at an event at Ashland High School in several weeks back. 
Evan, Evan Schweiker and Noah Thompson placed first in a big question of debate over the issue of whether science leaves room for free will. Aishu Valenki placed second in poetry in her first ever speech in debate in parents. Carly Fairman made it to the finals in impromptu for a third time this year. Great job, speech and debate. Speaking of students doing great things, kudos to Kim Kinney for receiving all su superiors at the regional acting competition two weekends ago. Kim completed against, competed against students from 12 other schools in the southern region. Way to go, Kim. Since we're already on the topic of theater, the In the Heights cast has been announced. Let's see who is starring in our spring musical. It's that time of the year again. The spring play is coming. Time to announce the cast. I'm Megan Forsyth. I'll be portraying the Piraguo guy. Hi, my name is Thais, and I'll be playing Vanessa. Um, my name is Ariana Segura, and I'm Camila. My name is Bryce Kaufman, and I'm Sunny. I'm Nate, and I'm doing an ensemble. Um, I'm Jasmine Mathis, and I'm playing Nina. I'm Haley, and I'm a dancer in the ensemble. Hey, I'm Mackenzie, and I'm doing Ensemble. Hi, I'm Kim Kinney, and I'll be playing Benny. Hi, my name is Yasmin Conchas, and I play Graffiti Pete. I'm Trevor Ulrich, and I'll be playing Usnavi. Hi, my name is Ana Parra, and I'm going to be Daniela. My name is Kyle, and I'm Ensemble. Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm Ensemble. I'm Felicity, and I'm playing Carla. Hi, my name is Cecil Wright and I'm playing Abuela Claudia. I'm Bree and I'm doing ensemble. Be sure to come see the spring show in the Heights. April 27th to the 29th and May 4th to the 6th. Are you looking for a fun summer job? Do you like to be outdoors? Well Noah's River Adventures has a job for you. They are looking for quite a few guides this summer and will primarily like to hire locals. Check out their website if you're interested in applying. To students grades 10 through 12, my future choice applications are available in the library. Please make sure to turn them in by February 17th. If you have any questions, please contact Justina Mossler. Let's go ahead and move on to sports. Girls golf starts on Monday, February 27th. Remember, if you are interested and don't have any equipment, we can all provide that for you. Come see Coach Engel in room 304 if you are interested. In basketball action, our boys and girls teams hosted the North Valley Knights last Tuesday. The boys fell by a close score of 50 to 40 and our girls lost by a score of 32 to 62. And on Friday, they both hosted Henley. Our Lady Pirates lost by a score of 70 to 43. And our boys played hard but fell in a close game by a score of 30 to 20. This week, both basketball teams will travel to KU and Mizama to end their regular season. Congrats on representing PHS, PHS with pride in boys and girls basketball this season. In wrestling action this past week, our wrestlers competed at the Special District 3 Regional t Tournament. The team finished in, our, in an impressive fourth place overall and we qualified several individuals to state. Congrats to the following Pirate wrestlers for qualifying for state. Emma Truex, Elijah Leonis, Giovanni Bazan Chavez, Jackie Hawkins, Mike Walker, Dalton Samus, Ryan Rubble, and Gato De La Torre. In swim action this past week, our boys and girls uh, swimmers competed at the district championships. Our boys team placed fourth, and our girls placed sixth. Alex Shepard, Brent Flynn, and all three of our boys relays finished in the top six of their events. Alec was in the second in the 100 free and fourth in the 50 free. Brent was fifth in the 100 fly. With Nathan Watt and Devin Winouse, Brent and Alec combined for fourth in both the 200 medley and 200 free relays at greatly improved times and potentially a state meet qualification. Bryce Crawford, Max Duffy, Fort Fogelman, and Skylar Aruda captured six in the 400 free relay. Our girls freestyle relays were also the top six with significantly improved times. Lolo O'Connor, Kelly McLeod, Pearl Ward, Justina Molossler were fifth in the 200 free relay. And Lola Kazis Kaikendal, Alexis Tafuncha, and Ruby Moser placed fifth in the 400 relay. This weekend, Alex Shepard, Brent Flynn, Nathan Watt, 
and Devin Wernaus will be going to the OSAA state championships representing Phoenix High School. Great job this season, Pirate Swimmers. Speaking of swimming, we have a segment to acknowledge the hard work of our swimmers did all season long. Let's roll it. That wraps up our show. All we have left is trivia. Last week's trivia question was, what day is the Oregon Public University's College Fair held in a small gym at lunch? And the winner is... Bradley at Miss C Mrs. Seedborg's advisory. He said February 13, 2017. See, uh, congrats, you said Monday, February 13th. See Mr. Rhodes to pick up your Subway gift card. This week's trivia question is, when is the Decca Candy Raffle? Please write your answer on, on a piece of paper along with your name and advisor's name and place it in the envelope in Mr. Rhodes' door. Be sure to check out our online platform, phtv.com, and always stick around for the pledge. This has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news. Don't try that you won't know how to get by no set of